Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Hutton. I am just checking in with you this week just to see how things are going. Hopefully you're doing great so far. Uh, please remember that this week you are really, really beginning your outcomes assessment essay. Um, we did go over the OA essay, the outcomes assessment essay, last week. And so if you missed that Class Connect session, you need to go back and watch that Class Connect recording. Absolutely most important. If you were not there last week, you must go back and watch that recording to know what's going on for the outcomes assessment essay. Um, so this year's um, outcome assessment essay topic is about college tuition. And I really dive in deep about the um, about the prompt. Um, I dove into that last week hugely. So make sure you go back and watch that recording so you know what you're doing. But what I'm going to focus on today and the reason why we are not having a regular class to connect today is because I feel like your time is very limited and your time is very important as you move forward in this outcomes assessment essay. Um, and so I gave you the information and I shouldn't say last week because last week was spring break. So the week before spring break is when I gave you all of this information. Um, but I, I need to stress the importance of, of doing a good job on your sources and reading through all of your sources. So what you need to be working on right now is forming your claim or forming your opinion about the topic that you're going to choose and then making sure that the, source, the, the sources that you choose um, are formed toward um, or are chosen to back up your thoughts, your opinion, your claim um, to so just so you understand and know you do not have to use all 18, I think, sources that are provided to you. Um, you need to choose the probably four or five most important that are going to be most beneficial to what your claim and what your paper is going to be about. But in order to do so, you have to do the work. You have to read through the sources. You have to figure out which one is good and which one you do not need to use. Okay. So by doing so, you need to go through and annotate. You need to read. You need to annotate. You need to highlight, underline organize whatever it is that you need to do you need to do with those sources okay now it is imperative that you remember you do not use any outside um, research beyond the sources that are already given to you so for example let me scroll down here this is all the prompt and everything so the assignment in the prompt is right here should college tuition be free as and it tells you what must be in the in the essay but then as you scroll down it says sources okay it says sources and these are the only sources research you are allowed to use on the paper if you use anything else your paper will be given a no pass and it will not pass okay so here's three sources that are just really really specific data about um, college education and then here's just regular reading um, sources. So you need to go through, there's 15 of these guys listed here. Um, this says college doesn't need to be free. This says tuition is not the main obstacle to student success. So you can kind of tell by the title um, which one is gonna be most beneficial, but I would suggest that you go through as many of them as you can. You have plenty of time to do so. Um, the Assault on Colleges and the American Dream. So if you don't really fully understand and know what the essay is going to be from the title, open it up and skim it. Scan through it. See what you can see and um, see what information you can gather from the entire article. Now, do not just pick and piece and part quotes that you would think might fit what you're saying. If you take them out of context, then, um, then they don't fit properly. Then you're not quoting and summarizing and paraphrasing in a proper fashion. Now, don't forget, you have to use a quote, a paraphrase, and a summary. You can use more than that, but you must have all three of those within your paper. You must have at least one quote, at least one summary, and at least one paraphrase. Um, and so you need to make sure that you understand how to write those properly in your paper. However, right now, you should not be writing your paper at all. Right now, you should only be going through the sources and gathering quotes, gathering information to back what your opinion is going to be on the topic. And remember, 
You cannot sit in the middle of the fence and waffle on both sides and wibble and wobble. Well, I agree with this, but I also see this side. Okay, no, you're going to take a stance on one side or the other, and then you will use a counter argument for the other side of your topic. And so make sure you choose one side or the other. Now, um, I'm just scrolling down. There are 15 sources that you can use in all. Um, so next week or so, I want you guys to begin thinking about writing your essay next week, okay? Um, but before that, I have an assignment set up in the course for you to write an outline. And your outline is going to be one of your number one top priority assignments that you do because if you write a phenomenal outline, you're going to write a phenomenal paper, okay? Um, your, your outline is going to lead your paper exceptionally if you will spend the time from the get-go, from the start, um, if you will put in the work and the time on the outline, you're going to do amazing on your paper. So um, I just wanted to touch base with you very quickly because I know you guys have a lot to do this week, especially in this class. So I really felt like spending 45 minutes going over this was not productive time, okay? And so if you have questions so far about any of the resources, okay, not the outline, not writing the paper, but if you have any questions about the resources you are going through, please email me and let me know how I can help you um, because if you're stuck, I don't want you to be stuck with questions or whatever, but you must be forming an opinion about this. Should college tuition be free or not? Yes or no, and why? What is your point and purpose? What are the three main points you're going to focus on in your paper? Okay, so those are the things I want you thinking about now. Um, form your thesis, form your, your uh, claim, your opinion, and then start finding research to back up those points. This is why, this is why, this is why, okay? By using your research and getting more um, knowledge in your in your mind as you read so that you can actually write your entire paper without having a, um, a, a paper full of quotes, right? We don't want papers full of quotes. Okay, so I'm gonna leave you with that. If you have any specific questions, please feel free to email me. I am in and out of my office this week, so please do let me know how I can help you, um, and I'm happy to help. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.